Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with some fun Brutus Monroe products. So I have this stamp set called Beware Boulevard and it's got a haunted house, kind of a little monster guy and some fun word phrases. I also have some glitter glazes. Now I've pulled out Fallen Snow and the Chunky Glitter Glaze Gold Stars. I might pull out another one. I haven't truly decided on that yet. I have two three by four photos. Um, one is a screenshot of a photo and this one is of the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World. Now I've also pulled out a chunky stencil. This is the, the moon stencil. And I pulled out the Sea Life paper collection. I know that that seems weird, but I really like these colors. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I'm starting out with that Sea Life paper pad. Now there are a good amount of patterns in this paper pad that do not scream under the sea. And that's good because we're not doing the Little Mermaid, we're doing the Haunted Mansion. So what I'm going to do is trim down my little three by four photos so that I can uh, use them here on uh, a six by six piece of paper. Uh, and now I'm going to take that beautiful haunted house stamp and I'm going to stamp it on some white cardstock. Now the beautiful thing uh, about this Brutus Monroe Black Raven detail ink is that it is a gorgeous deep true ink and since I'm using the Misty stamping tool I am able to just stamp over it one more time just to make sure I have a nice clean crisp image. So I have a black sheet of cardstock here and I've got my pieces of paper, my stamped image, I've got my photos, I've got my photos somewhere, I kind of lost them, <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll figure that out at another time. There they are. Um, so then I also have the Chunky Moon uh, stencil from Brutus Monroe. And what this is, is it is a thicker stencil, meaning it has thicker openings so that you can use the Brutus Monroe Chunky Glitter Glaze in there. Now this is a chunky glitter glaze, so it has the same beautiful effect of regular glitter glaze. However, some of the glitter in here is a little bit thicker and uh, it is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then let that sit off to the side to dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to be trimming down all of these six by six papers so that I can turn them into banners. So I am doing a variety of widths. I have uh, one inch, one and uh, a quarter inches, two inches, I don't remember it's two and a quarter or one and three quarters inches, but anyway, I have a variety of widths for my banners. And then on some of the banners, what I am going to do, um, well, I'm going to uh, trim them all down first. Now, if you are like me and can't bend a piece of paper in half and cut a fishtail banner, this is what I do. I find the center point uh, on the piece of paper, and then I take my scissors and I cut from one corner to the top of that point that I made and then the other corner to the other top that I made. And you get a banner this way. You can make your fishtail as deep or as uh, skinny and narrow as you would like. Um, this just finds that center point. Um, and it's really easy to do because I'm just one of those people that can't bend the piece of paper uh, in half and cut a fishtail banner. It makes no sense. Um, it's just one of those things I can't do. So now I have all of my pieces of paper and I have bannered them up. I'm going to use the stamp set and I'm going to stamp on some of them. So some of them um, will have eek on them and then I'll have a couple of the other sentiments on here as well. And I am not using the Misty Stamping Tool for this portion uh, just because I figured it would be too much of a time uh, waste basically um, to go ahead and do that and switch out every single um, 
sentiment in every single piece of paper and just moving it, oh, it stresses me out just thinking about it. So just using a stamping block and that Raven um, detail ink again is giving me great, great results. So I've gone ahead and I've got them down and I am going to go ahead and do one more. Um, so now I have four different banners with words on them. Um, so they say, eek, you're invited, enter if you dare, and I'm here for the booze. Um, booze, like boo, ah, kind of boo, not like booze liquor. Um, so now I have my banners, and now I want to liven them up a little bit, right? Like I know I'm going to have this big sparkly corner of the chunky uh, moons over in my corner. So I'm like, I need, I need to bring in some more glitter glaze, and I need to uh, just elevate my banners a little bit. So I'm using a variety of glitter glazes and a variety of stencils and I'm just going to um, glitter glaze up these papers. Now I am um, loving, loving, loving glitter glaze on top of patterned paper. It just gives it an extra layer of dimension, an extra layer of shining, shimmering, splendid, it is gorgeous and all the things. Um, I am using uh, Brutus Monroe stencils. Uh, if I can find them on the website, I will link them down below in the description. Um, but I mean, just look at it, it's gorgeous. Um, this uh, stencil right here is actually a sequin scene builder stencil, but really it's just a tiny dot stencil. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and use that as well. So this is the Galaxy uh, Glitter Glaze that I am using right now. And those uh, get set off to the side to dry. And now it is time to build my uh, line of banners that I'm going to create all the way across the bottom of the page. So I'm trying to get uh, the sizes uh, kind of scattered across the page. I don't want all the thicker ones together and all the skinnier ones together. Um, I don't want all the glitter glaze together and I don't want all the stamped images together. I want it to look random. Like I'm planning out the randomness of it. Um, and then what I end up with, I'm, you know what, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think that the layout turned out really awesome. Um, it gives me that uh, cute kind of creepiness thing going on, um, which is the Haunted Mansion in a nutshell. It is a haunted mansion, um, but it's not like a haunted horror house. It is more of a haunted um, story, fun house type thing. More cute and fun, less terrifying. Although there are some pretty uh, terrifying moments in uh, the haunted mansion. So now I finally figured that out. I'm going to layer up my photos, but first I decide I don't like the randomness um, across the top of the page where all of my banners are kind of ending up. So I do grab uh, some washi tape from my stash. I place it across a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and then I trim it down. Um, and what that is going to do is allow me to have the washi tape span across the page um, without it kind of following along uh, the hills and the valleys of where the papers are. So I'm just going to trim those papers uh, down so that you kind of have this uh, bit as um, like the starting point for the banners. So I am going to uh, overlap my photos and then I also fussy cut out that haunted house stamped image and I'm just trying to figure out where I want it to go like where I like it the best do I like it best on the left hand side of the photos or do I like it better on the right so I decide that I like it a little bit better on the right and I need to pop it up um, a little bit just to give it um, that extra layer of dimension and texture so I go ahead and get that on there and I'm loving this layout you guys like I am definitely loving it I decide it needs a little bit of a containment kind of a border kind of keeping it in um, so I just outline the top um, of the black cardstock um, and then I outline some of the uh, banners down here at the bottom 
Um, some of them I outline in a white pen, some of them I outline in a black pen. And it is just a tiny little detail um, that you probably wouldn't even notice at first glance at looking at the page, um, but it just gives it that little bit of a finishing effect that makes all the difference uh, in the world. So I'm going to uh, pull out some letter stickers. Now these, I think these are called Color Vibes um, from Simple Stories. You can get a variety of colors on the Brutus Monroe website. Um, and then I just pull a black label in from my stash so that I have a place to uh, put some journaling down. And I'm going to go ahead and um, put these letters down over here so that my title is going to be above my photo right here. So right now the title is Go. But don't you worry, I'm adding some more letters. So I find some coordinating letter stickers that say that spell out let's. And then I'm going to use a white pen to go ahead and get my journaling down here on that black label that I put down. Now I ended up putting that black label down, not for journaling, um, but because I realized I had a gap where the glitter glaze wasn't showing on my one banner. So I needed to cover that up because nobody needs a gap in their glitter glaze. You just don't need that in your life. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out the links down below if you're interested in any of the Brutus Monroe products that I use. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.